currently a national debate is going on on the merits of the new educational policy propounded by the government. The new national education policy is mainly based on the recommendations of an expert panel. We studied at length the possibilities and potential of our educational frame and also looking into the future to make it in tune with the global changes. The government has chosen the eve of our independence, making the declaration on the eve of August rather the best month for India when our motherland became free out of the foreign yoke. The new educational policy seems to be very logical as it has been based on the recommendations of a panel of experts. I am happy to note that the first main point of the new educational policy is that the name education has been re-restored into the very ministry or the mantralaya. Now the Ministry of Human Resources Development has been renamed as Educational Ministry or Vidya Bhyas Mandralaya. It's a very welcome sign, very welcome step that now the Ministry has regained its soul which was absent for the last few decades. I welcome this historic decision, I may say, of the Government of India to rename the very ministry as Ministry of Education. Secondly, we find that the government has noted the long-time demand of the people and of the experts in the country that the first phase of primary education should be in the mother tongue. Unless the foundation is strong, we cannot build our structure on it. Or if we wish to build a strong structure, we must aim at a base or foundation as strong as possible. Unless the student is getting his initial education in his own or her own mother tongue, it will be very difficult to imbibe the knowledge that the boy or the girl is accumulating in later phase of their life. Therefore, this decision is also equally to be welcomed. And we find that in almost all countries abroad, the early education has always been in mother tongue. So in India also it is high time that we change the freedom that has been given to educational institutions either to impart the learning even in foreign languages. So let us go back to our own roots so that our boys and girls get firm on the ground. Secondly, I find that the students are given more freedom now. The intention of the new educational policy itself seems to be to make it student friendly. That is a very welcome step that the government is aiming at. The students have been of late being burdened so heavy that they cannot carry the weight of their learning or the learning equipments even. Now the new 
national education policy is in fact becomes a magna carta for the students that they will naturally enjoy their freedom freedom of mind freedom of soul and making education something interesting for them in that way also the new educational policy is a welcome step and thirdly i find that in the sphere of higher education there is also a lot of openings being incorporated the education has been in our country within a rigid frame compartmentalizing our faculties compartmentalizing our shades of learning we know that the very terminology that we have been using in relation with university has always been to be inclusive inclusive of all shades of learning and the earlier universities all had been so whether nalanda or tachijila in india or cambridge or oxford in europe we find that all these universities had been under the same umbrella consisting of different shades of learning now we are going back to this fundamental concept as now it is opening up a university entitled to provide learning in most of the topics most of the subjects and we find new educational policies intending to discard different varieties of universities deemed universities and technical universities now we are going to have a university which can provide learning in all spheres that is also a very healthy change that the new national education policy is aiming at and the emphasis is also being made on research in future higher learning unless it is formally based and tied to research work it will have no effect it will have no impact it will not have the necessary depth that we aim at in higher learning so now it is more student friendly more research friendly and the faculty is also given so much of an opportunity to decide the academics or rather the academic world is given more freedom to prescribe the syllabus we find that in the present current scenario i am saying this or sharing this on the basis of my experience my experience as a teacher for more than half a century as an educational worker i may say having been fortunate in leading or guiding three universities holding the office of the vice chancellor that our universities had been always been pressed by several factors around the political factors the administrative factors and the outside factors now in the new educational policy minimum political intervention is only possible more academic freedom is envisaged as an academic as a teacher i heartily welcome this new proposals aimed at making education free from other unnecessary unwarranted forces and factors and we find that employability is one of the major concerns we find that opportunities are now given to the youth 
on the basis of their level of competency. Education must be a mechanism which must definitely be providing the youth with a competency with which they can do the job well, so that they can prove their mettle, their usefulness to the society, and their effectiveness in those institutions in which they are being given chances to work. So the work efficiency is there, one side, but at the same time, the educational policy is also aiming at giving some sort of an emphasis to the value concepts that our country had been long cherishing, long preserving and strengthening. So an education without a soul, education without values, definitely it may not produce the best result we envisage at. So the new educational policy is actually opening up several possibilities before us. I hope that if it is done well, if it is worked out well, with good intentions, with good work, with good effort, we can change the country in tune with the changes that are happening in the world, but at the same time, keeping and preserving the high traditional values India has always been noted for. And that will be the best opportunity, that will be the best result that, that we can achieve through this new national educational policy. My humble prayer, my humble wish, my humble dream is that let this national educational policy, let it be by the government, let it be by the common society, let it be considered as it is India's effort, not as BJP's effort, not as the government's effort, not as the effort of any sectarian force. It is the government which has declared, a government elected by the people, and naturally, therefore, it is the responsibility of every responsible citizen to see that well-intentioned restructuring efforts initiated by the government of India in tune with the new proposals made by Kasturi Rangan Committee and approved by the government be a blessing for our country, a blessing for our people and a great blessing for our future generations. Thank you.